What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? So a couple things. What's up? What's up? This is my YouTube intro. I'm I'm Pokemon Challenges. I'm probably the best Nuzlocker in the world. And today we're going to be looking at Ms. Kiff. Ms. Kiff? Ms. Kiff. Um, and his amazing Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke that he did recently. Hey, if this is your, if you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed to my YouTube channel because only like 10% of you are freaking subscribed. You probably think that you're subscribed because you get my recommended videos all the time, but you're actually not subscribed. So please hit, hit the subscribe button, engagement, call to action. Um, all right, Ms. Kiff. Quick disclaimer, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I have n never really watched Ms. Kiff's content. I've only ever seen his live stream fail clips, and I've seen like drama stuff, um, which is probably not a good way. L listen, live stream fail clips and like drama videos are probably not a good way to get a uh, first impression of someone. So I'm gonna go into this completely with a blank slate. The only thing I really watched what was this, I watched a little bit of this Nuzlocke live. Um, and, and that's it. That's all I know about Ms. Giff. So, without further ado, oh, actually, I've kind of thought about keeping chat off screen for these because you guys are so cringe. See ya. It's time to watch Ms. Kiff do a Nuzlocke. I don't think this is his first one. I think I saw that he did Emerald before this. I don't know if it's his second one or something. From what I understand, this is a randomized Platinum Nuzlocke, so both his encounters and also his enemies teams will be randomized. I don't know the exact randomizer settings that he used. I'm sure some YouTube frog will post it in the comments down below. Uh, give me, give me your algorithm comments. Give, po post them. Post a comment so my video is better. Ooh, starter choice. Okay, here we go. This is Pog. Randomizer starter choices are always interesting. Okay, so we got Jumpluff as a starter. That might be good. The problem is the learn set here, right? So you start with Tackle and Synthesis, but you don't get like a real attacking move until level 20 when you get Bullet Seed. It is a pretty fast Pokemon with like very good utility moves. You get super early Sleep Powder, for example, which is sick, and then 24 you get Leech Seed. But I think this Pokemon takes too long to come online and being stuck with only Tackle with very mediocre Offensive stats is probably not a good choice. Let's see what else he's offered here. Jump Luff. What the yeah. fuck is that? Leon. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> oh, this is going to be funny. Okay. All right. Lanoon, excellent. Lanoon is ex or Leon, as he calls it, is excellent. Um, Great stats early. I think it's learn set is really good. It gets guts probably, right? So you can like poison it before a fight and make, make use of that. Um, Great Pokemon. Very, very good. Much better than Jumpluff here for sure. Or Jolteon. I think Jolteon is kind of bad here. But he's probably going to pick it. Look at his pog ass face. Oh, is it just pick up? Is Guts like a... Is, is, am I thinking of Emerald Kaizo? Okay, yeah, never mind. It doesn't get Guts. Jolteon, I think, is not good here. Because of its Lorenz set, right? It, does, it probably doesn't get an electric type move until way later, right? Let's check here. Like, the number one thing to consider in these randomizers is your learn sets, right? You get Thundershock at 15, actually. That's not super bad. You're relying on Tackle until then. But, I mean, Thundershock itself is not that good. And you don't get another electric type move until 43 with Thunderfang? No. I think Lanoon is the very, very obvious choice here. Very obvious choice. It's definitely not. It's definitely not Jolteon. Jolteon's learn set is way too bad. A Jolteon! This is not Pog, whatsoever. It's pretty good. It's pr it's pr uh, he's probably not gonna catch this though, right? I think the catch rate is too low. Is he gonna catch this? Ooh. Oh my God! Uh oh, he's fine still. He doesn't have healing items. He's gonna get another chance here. Maybe two more I'm chances. I'm not giving up on this! It's important to keep in mind that wild Pokemon have random AI. So what that means is from the four po from the four moves it has, it will choose a move randomly, completely random. It's just that there's no actual AI guidance here. So even if he sees a kill with bite, unlike a trainer, he's not going to go for it here. So there's a good chance that he rages here. Does he take a tackle? No, I think he's dead to, or, or I think he's dead to headbutt, right? He would live another rage. So there's another chance. I feel like you just try to go for the catch here because honestly, you can just reset the last five minutes and you're fine, right? And this is like a good ass encounter to go for. He's not gonna get it though. Yeah, he's dead to headbutt here. Okay, 
That's attempt one. Okay, so we got... Maskralian. <laughs> Maskralian. God, these pronunciations are based. Shelter. Pretty shit. Cyndaquil! Yeah. Cyndaquil! That's, that's the... The thing with starters is also they have, like, usually pretty nice XP curves. One thing to keep in mind in randomizers when you're picking is the XP curve of the Pokemon. So, like, how quickly it grows in level, right? Uh, there's some Pokemon that are, like, good, but they grow very, very slowly. So, especially for, like... Beginners, at w where you're like soloing with like one Pokemon a lot, having these like nice XP curves is really good. Cyndaquil is actually the correct choice here. The other two are pretty shit. <laughs> Someone in his chat said worse than Ludwig. <laughs> okay, Cyndaquil must learn this. Miskiff has ADHD. Yeah, I watched his uh, Dr. K. Oh, that is actually the other kind of Miskiff content that I've consumed. I think the only like longer thing I've seen with him is his Dr. K interview. Miz has pretty much only played Gen 1 and Gen 2. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, like, if you're missing all the game knowledge, obviously, you're gonna... As a reminder, okay? These videos are never meant to be like, wow, look at how shit this guy is. Omega lol. Let's make fun of him. It's more meant as, like, a case study of, like, hey, maybe you're a new Nuzlocker and you're trying to get better. Here's some things to look out for, right? Maybe Mizkiff will watch this before his next Nuzlocke. Try to get better. If you're watching, hi, how's it going? Follow me on Twitter. So, like, that that's more the point. It's not supposed to be like, oh, th I'm so much better than this guy because I have 4,000 hours doing this shit and he has none. That's not what this is supposed to be about. If it comes off that way, then I need to change something. But, um, that's not, yeah. So, th th it's meant to be, like, educational, I guess, right? That thing looks scary. Okay, let's just ember it. Yeah, so this, yeah, I was about to say, this has Dragon Rage, which is going to annihilate him. I, d I think his only Pokemon that has more than 40 HP right now is that Quilava and Dragon Rage always deals 40 HP. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. That that is a Nuzlocke who's encountered Dragon Rage in a randomizer for the first time. That is the face of a man who just got Dragon Rage. What he can do here is switch to a Pokemon, uh, sack that, switch to another Pokemon, heal up Quilava above 40 HP while sacking that. He might have to do that twice if he doesn't have super potions. Get back in. Deal more damage, and then he probably dies anyway because he doesn't have enough sacks to keep his Quilava healthy, so... Okay, yeah, he went for tackle. Good. That means he can now Super Potion Quilava. That's the next play. Do not go for the attack here. You do not... Ooh, he sand attacked. That's pretty lucky. He he would be dead to Dragon Rage. Luckily, AI does not see a kill with those... With, like, Dragon Rage and Seismic Toss and shit for some reason. I don't know why that doesn't work, but... Yep. Yo. Right, lost that Omastar for nothing. He has one potion. That's not gonna do anything because he's still in Dragon Rage range, range afterwards. 40, is it really worth to lose two turns for Bart? No. It might be. No, I think it's worth it here. Cause no matter how you play it, if you want to play it safe, you're gonna lose one Pokemon here, right? As soon as you lose one Pokemon, Quilava can come in and kill this. Okay, he's gonna sack Oh Wooper. my god! No 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 no! You're faster with Quilava and you kill. You have Blaze Ember, dude. You're, my, you're less than one third of your HP on Quilava, so you get the ability trigger, so you can just Ember and kill this. And you're faster. <laughs> Why'd he go Weeping Bell? Uh, I guess he just doesn't realize how like speed works, right? And that he's faster and that he'll just attack first. It, it's all, it all comes down to game knowledge, right? Goes for the 20 HP heal on Quilava. That was... Why are you guys question marking me? What am I doing wrong? That was the correct play because if he doesn't Dragon Rage there, he can heal again. And then if he doesn't Dragon Rage again, he gets the free switch to Quilava. However, Chad's probably question marking because he went into Weeping Bell. I can bring out Bart, heal, and then get hurt. No, you can bring out Bart and just kill this. <laughs> but again, this all comes down to him not knowing how speed works, right? It's all, it's all, it always comes down, always comes down to uh, game knowledge, right? He lives one, right? No, he doesn't. Not a crit. Okay. Bart, use quick attack. Okay. Could have done that saving both Ursa Ring and Weeping Bell, but... Two more? Are you fucking serious? Rock beats rock! What? Yeah, he's dying to this. If He, he needs to heal, right? Oh, he's out of potions! Oh, he's dead. Okay, quick attack crit though. Nope, he's dead. 
Good one, Mizkiff. Unironically, if he'd only bought potions, if he had not even tried to prove to chat that he's good, and just waited a second and just bought potions, not even grinded, not even gotten the six encounters he's missing at this point, but just bought two potions. All right, let's see if he can do it. I might be... Wait, why does he only have three? <laughs> oh god, he only has three Pokemon. And two of them are probably underleveled, right? I'm just a great guy. All right, so he has a level five Mawile, but he does have another level 16 Pokemon. So he has learned and brought instead of one, two level 16s, which is nice. Okay, this Butterfree's going crazy right now. Let's yeah, bring yeah. up Basil. Okay, yeah. Ooh, the crit. That's huge. Please tell me he has potions this no. time. Please just tell me he has potions. Charlie. He does have Intimidate on this model, so it's not completely useless, but it will be useless against oh, this Butterfree. No. Please tell me he has potions, dude. He does have two potions. Pog. Okay, heal your Ivysaur. Mm, I don't think that's the right play. I, I would heal the Ivysaur here for sure and just do Leech Seed plays. And just play it slow with Sleep Powder. You can't put your Ivy Sword to sleep. I will say this has a, this has hit every sleep powder, but it's compound eyes, right? It should be compound eyes, so it's not that that bad. Peck would have killed. I used it. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's mad. Stop He's acting so like I'm mad. not doing it right. He's so mad. Oh, we got the wake up of the Peck. Oi, delay. All right, what's the last Pokemon? He's dead. One hundred percent. Skunk. All right. You can't win against that. Yep, My he's dead. Sleeper. <laughs> he's so mad. Holy shit, he's so mad. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? So a couple things, since you asked. You brought level 4 Pokemon. You bought 3 Pokemon despite there being like 12 encounters before this gym. Um, and you only bought two potions. That's it. There wasn't even any micro decisions here. You were just underprepared for this fight. Hoot hoot. Scyther. Ursaring. I would pick Scyther for sure. What's Ursaring? You've had one, my oh, dude. Oh, it's the bear? Oh, I want Scyther. That's you've reviewed so far. I mean, like, he's just, he's a beginner and he plays like a beginner. The thing is... A lot of mistakes are just like bound to game knowledge, which is whatever like that That's just something that comes with experience I just think people would do so much like streamers would do so much better in their nuzlocks if they weren't like lazy and like willing to learn a little bit Like I, I can forgive any mistake related to game knowledge, right as long as you try to learn from them, but like Wiping four times because you didn't buy enough potions and then still not buying enough potions is like I that's what I don't understand that, but that's, I think that's the only thing. I think the biggest takeaway is just, it's the same with XQC, right? The the worst he was doing was him when he was literally not reading, like, the text boxes on screen. Those were his, like, big mistakes. Other than that, XQC played fine with the game knowledge that he had. And I think for Mizkiff, it's the same. I don't think he plays dumb for content. I genuinely don't think so. I don't think anyone plays dumb for content. Especially with a chat like this. I guarantee you. I think the I think people I think streamers like the ideas of Nuzlocks more than they do the actual act of Nuzlocking. Like I think people just want to get nice, cool Pokemon that they like and just sweep the games with them. And have chat pog. Oh my god, like father like son. So cute. Um, bite's your best move here, by the way. More base power than scratch. You also want to bite this or water gun it, actually. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. Nice, nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's a little scary. You still should be biting, by the way. Not scratching. Easy win. Did he overgrind a little bit? Maybe a little bit. Did he get kind of lucky with the Rourke's team? Maybe. But the important part is, he grinded. Fine. Let's do this. Can a dog, an egg, and a stupid squirrel defeat one of the best gym leaders in the world? 
All right, Taylo, good start for him. Good start for him. He's got the mighty Anna with the intimidate. Nice shit. Nice shit. Oh, he's got this. One down. This is gonna be his furthest attempt if he beats this, right? Argon. His crocodile died. Got the Pokemon from Heart Home City, and it's a Totodile reincarnated. Gotcha. Thank you. Ooh, you just called it Argon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're not going to be dealing damage to this. He has a Croconaw, though, right? Wait, what, what's on his team? I mean, Sand Attack works. He gets Roared. Pachirisu is not good enough, dude. You just don't have the... That's not going to do any damage. Neither is Spark, because the defense is so high, and Pachirisu is like... Ooh, the recoil helping him out here, probably. What's his third Pokemon? Wait, how does he win this? Bide. Oh shit. The 200 IQ Bide strat. Nope. He just needs to like go for bite flinches af and after intimidate just keep healing. I mean, he can win this. He can even howl up. This is not like lost. If he howls up a couple of times, then he goes for bite flinches, sand attack misses and shit like that. And he can still heal with super potions. He should be fine here actually. Ooh, he's got Iron Defense, though. But Takedown Recoil is also going to do a lot. And he does have the Intimidate debuff and stuff. Roar is a little annoying, but... You can even go for the Rock Smash here, actually. It's not going to deal super bad damage. He is Iron Defense, though. It is going to actually deal horrible damage. You might want to Charm. Charm is the play here. Honestly, I think you just switch back into Mighty and I get another Intimidate down, get a few Bite Flinches. Yeah, it's not gonna do shit. He does Are get a defense you draw. Serious? Yep. Togepi is garbage attack. Agron has sick defense. But I mean, he can keep going here. Get a few more defense drops. Dude, he's doing it. Oh, Intimidate saved him there. Togepi's doing it. He has to switch now. Just switch to Mighty Anna. You're fine. No! Why? Please switch. Miz, for the love of God, just switch out this Togepi. Togekiss is so good, dude. Please. Please just go to Mighty Anna. He got so many defense drops. Please. Miz. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Go for the super potion. Yeah, he has so many potions. Guys, he learned. I'm so proud. He learned. He bought potions. That's so sick. Nice, nice. Yes! He got out of that. Good shit. Yeah, Serene Grace on Togepi with the Rock Smash coming through there. He should be able to beat Vigoroth pretty easily. Yep, he's got it. He's got it. Furthest attempt, Get baby! Nice job, Miz. Hell yeah. How much better do you think these streamers would play if you gave them three minutes of coaching after like one attempt? I mean, it de de depends on how much they retain, right? But literally, if I just told them, like, spam potions read every text box and like if you get like a level two pokemon that's like good grind it up a little bit so you can use it against trainers i think if i told them like those three things i think they would do a lot better especially the potion thing no way dude sick it's a blastoise it's a good encounter not great but pretty damn good good xp curve good move pool no i love the ice cream. good stats good. thank you Good encounter. Water types are pretty damn good. Alright, boys. So we just spent three hours grinding that Blastoise. I what wonder what's going to happen next. Five. I wonder what's going to happen next, guys. Alright, three Pokemon. What the f It's a grass type, bro. All right, what else does he have? So he has his level 40 Blastoise. Why is the quality this garbage? Oh, because it's always 360p. Nice. He's got his Ninetales level 31. It's actually reasonably leveled. He's got Togetic level 31 for some reason. This is an easy switch to Ninetales. Why is Ninetales missing HP? <laughs> Uh-oh, Swagger. Did he read the text? Does he know that he's confused? He's only got Ember on Ninetales, though. Because uh, Ninetales learn set his shit. Start ex exterminate Scott? What? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's hitting through. I think it's kills. 
Nope. Not quite. Okay, so this is just gonna be. Ooh, there's a Meganium. Another grass type oh in his way. God, That's a pretty no. good counter. Oh my god. Pretty good no. Blastoise counter. Okay, wait. Dude, he's so scared of losing another run. He's so scared of losing another run because he's done a lot of grinding, spent a lot of time on this run. He likes the Pokemon that he has. He's very terrified of losing this run. But I, I wish he was always this aware of being dead to crit and stuff because that's a good. It's good to be scared sometimes and like heal a lot and shit. So I think he's learning. I think being scared like this probably makes you play better because playing carefully is like the number one thing that just like taking your time and like thinking. It's like the. It's pretty important. Impatience kills Nuzlocke, boys. Come on. Nice. You really doubt me. Oh, shh. That's a little f scary, my dude. Chill out. Holy shit. This... Ninetales is dead, right? Yeah. To the bag who told me to use God damn it! You made me lose! All he had to do was surf. All he had to do was press surf. He was faster. This is what you get when you get backseated by chat. This is why I don't let you guys backseat me. Unless I know that you're good. Unless you're like one of the select people in chat that I know is good. This is so cool, man. I think this is better than Emeralds. True. So he's on 103 HP. He's facing a an ice type. I'm gonna say what is going on here is he doesn't either doesn't realize that he's weak to ice or that this is an ice type. Um, I feel like with the way that he's been playing this, this was bound to happen eventually. I think this is literally not even him not paying attention. It's just missing game knowledge. I lost series. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect. Pussy. <laughs> All right, PZ. He's level He is actually level 69. Good job, guys. That is really high. <laughs> that is a very high Pokemon level, indeed. So the problem with... Ra this is where r randomizers are really disappointing, by the way. Because um, all these Pokemon just have level up learn sets. And even if they're good Pokemon, those level up learn sets can just be shit. So I'm pretty sure he's just going to sweep what? through here. He does have a level 55 Infernape also. Which is also very strong. Damn, that doesn't kill... <laughs> And he used Worry Seed. See, this is what I mean. Grumpig. That does have Thick Fat, probably. Ooh, he has a 53 Gengar, too, actually. Yeah, you kind of need a Shadow Ball there, bro. Are you dead to Psychic, actually? I think you are, right? No, never mind. Mmm! <sighs> Just stay in and kill it, please. You're faster. You know, you saw that you were faster. <sighs> Ouch. It's fine. He's not going to get punished. Again, yeah, just not knowing speed mechanics. Oh, can Surf hit you when you're diving? I legit did not know that. It's like Earthquake and Dig, I guess. Does you also take double damage? I did not know that at all. Also, um, this is completely unrelated to this video, but somebody commented on my YouTube video, on the XQC video. I was I was going crazy over this, actually. When I was re-watching the video, too, I could not believe how wrong I was 
about that Lucario versus Machoke matchup in the Maylene fight, and it drove me crazy that that, like, unboosted revenge from Lucario one-shot the Machoke. I don't think it kills without... It might actually just kill, even without being boosted. Oh, now he's God. way too under-level for that. Never mind. Me first. That's fine, it's not gonna deal too much, and he's gonna boost his revenge and he's gonna kill. Never mind. <laughs> and I think what happened is that revenge actually somehow got boosted by me first. I, it was bothering me so much that I was so off about that range. This has to be a bug with me first boosting revenge or something. There's no way this should have killed. Me first... Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't know how me first worked. It just always boosted by 1.5. Okay, cool. Look, his chat is actually kind of cheering him on. Look at them. Oh, is he going to run out of PP, do you think? Should probably be using Waterfall a couple times. Does that kill? I think he lives that, right? Never mind, level damage. Wait, oh, that's a crit. Yeah, okay. Gilk score. <laughs> Gilk score. Dude, his Pokemon pronunciations are way better than mine. I can never match this. No matter how often I say Giratina, I'm never going to be able to get to this level. Let's go for it! Nice. Dig! Oh, please, Earthquake. Please, Earthquake. Yes! I can't believe it happened. That is beautiful. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. All he needed to do is stay in and surf. That's all he had to do for this fight. See, that's the thing with being this overleveled. Every time you switch out, it's a misplay. <laughs> that's like the problem. Um, if you ever only have five Pokemon grinded up for the Elite Four and you really don't want to train up a sixth, just bring an underleveled Pokemon so at least you have like a sacrificial switch so you can buy like a turn for yourself. It's just an idea. Why isn't he using his proteins? Because he has no idea what they do. You're gonna lose them. Ooh, the lantern though. Paralyzes me. <laughs> Discharge is 30% chance. It's not super unlikely for that to happen. It seems like he used forced force evolutions in the randomizer, right? There's like no unevolved Pokemon in this Elite Four. That's kind of nice. Also, please use a full restore Mizkiff. Holy shit, dude. Please, for the love of God. Please use one of your 34 full restores. What are you saving them for? Oh my god, and he confused Rays. <laughs> Miss Kiv, please! He's gonna do it! He's gonna use the full restore! I'm so proud. Oh my god. He got paralyzed again, but it's fine. He now knows that he can use full. Oh my god. He's gotten paralyzed off of every single discharge. That was four in a row. I would, um, I'd be pretty mad. Okay, he's starting to attack. It's not gonna do too much. Lantern has pretty good special bulk. Damn, that did more than I thought. I guess, yeah, Gengar does have a lot of special attack, too. Solid 3 KO here. Is he dead to crit? I don't think he is, right? Scizor. Scizor. Uh, grass. Grass. Scizor is not a grass type, my friend. It's not even close. Maybe it is in the TCG, I don't know. Oh god, he swords danced twice. But I think Surf kills here, right? He's fine. Okay. Crit might have actually mattered. Dude, he's gotten a lot of crits on this Blastoise, man. Mother. He's critting a lot. Honestly, you just fight this Electro with Blastoise. It's so easy. You're just too high level. You're fine. You're fine. As long as he doesn't crit, you're fine. Wow, he would have lived crit there. That is not nerfed explosion yet. Nice. He knows the Blizzard. He knows the types. 71. We needed that. We needed that level. Lucian's down. Three remain. Wait, the remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on. 
I've always wanted to see her ASCII. Yeah, you were right, she is hot. I love goth chicks. True. Lucario. She has a Lucario! Just like in the original. Just like in the XQC Cynthia fight. Is that gonna kill? He gets another crit, dude? Holy shit, how many crits has he gotten? Keep. I think Blizzard kills here. Blizzard. And he's not gonna miss it either. Dude, his RNG is insane in this. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got some pretty damn good luck. What, are you gonna one-shot me? He would have lost to a Wobbuffet. That's true. He would have almost certainly lost to a Wobbuffet. Well, I guess it would have been like a 50-50 shot. I think she's healed yet, right? Oh no, she healed the Bronzong. It has sheer cold! Hell yeah, baby. Oh, there's a chance for him to lose. There's an actual chance for him to lose. Why am I rooting for- why am I rooting against him? <laughs> also, real quick, not very effective surf. More base power than bite there. You should go for it. Why? Oh, I guess he's just memeing now, huh? He wants it to be a 1v... a 1v9 at the end. A 1v6. You did it, boys! Woo! Good job, Miz. You pushed through! You had the resilience! Oh wait, Starmie's left, never mind. But he, he should win this, always. Last Pokemon. Yo, Mizzy, was he Bite is actually correct hunt. here. Yeah, again, Starmie's level up Linset is garbage because it's a stone evolution. It's not gonna kill. I'm a god Pokemon! Wait! I'm a god Pokemon master, dude! This is not gonna kill. You're doing the bit. I'm enough. a legend in the arena! I deserve this! Alright, so let's evaluate. Does Miskiff deserve this? I think he definitely deserves it. I will say, at least he read text boxes, which is something we can't say about everyone that we've rated on this show. If, if I had to critique, if I had to give him some constructive criticisms for his future Nuzlocke, buy more healing items? I don't know, pay a little bit more attention, I guess. That's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, don't run into fights when you're not healed. That's it, that's, that's really all I can give you. The rest, I mean, you won, and for a good reason. Maybe look into level capping. For the next one so chat doesn't accuse you of over leveling but i don't know if you want because that does involve more grinding because you gotta grind up more pokemon it's down to you it's up to you i would look into it maybe look into banning items that's also always an option um really like that rule set personally but it's obviously up to you anyway if you are watching this on youtube i can't do youtube outros so um leave a comment and subscribe bye leave bye End card, please.